Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today we're going to be covering We Create Make It Software version 3.0.0. What you guys don't know is I've been beta testing this for quite some time in the background um, and submitting bug requests or bug feedback to We Create. So we're going to see what they implemented or changed because they didn't give me any feedback back, letting me know that they made the changes or not. So we're gonna test this out and see what changes have happened and what has been changed here. So we're gonna go ahead and click new project here. We're gonna see what this looks like. So first up, if you've opened this for the first time, you'll probably have a giant banner in the top left here that kind of shows you some of the changes as well. So you can walk through those if you haven't. In this video, I'm gonna just walk you through some of the bugs that I submitted and changes. So first up, the first bug I submitted was these images here. So the images, uh, they just had animal vectors. That was it. That was all they had. It wouldn't show anything else in my beta version. But luckily, it looks like this version has been corrected. You do have optional, um, more options than just the animals here. So that's a great benefit. It looks like they fixed that bug. That is awesome. Next up is the shape. So shapes had um, an issue originally that all of these were in another language here. So the first three were in English and then the rest were in another language. Um, so they did correct that and they submitted that. I think there was also some other weird like variations that were showing up here. So I'm glad to see that they fixed that as well. So that's awesome. Um, I'm not sure if the L, R, and C, if those are shortcuts they added now. Let's try that once. So we're gonna click C. Oh, yep, look at that. And then we click R and then um, L for line, and there you go. So they added shortcuts since then as well, so that's awesome. Shows you a nice brief uh, uh, layout of your shortcuts there. Let's click on text here, we're gonna do text. Looks like that is just your standard text here. You still have your weld options, um, offset, array. Those are similar and they're about in the same area. They might be a little bit different than the old version. I haven't used the old version in a little while. So if it is different, you still get to those from up here with your text. Um, then you have the AI. You need to be signed in with your AI there. Um, that's still in the same location. Your biggest thing is your toolbox. Your toolbox over here is your material test array, your batch, your extract image. So if you wanna like take a scan, of what's in your bed of your laser. That's what extract images, and then you can create a jigsaw puzzle. I really like that they condensed all of these into one box now versus them being separate. They used to be up here in the top left for like the material test array. And speaking of which, we're gonna click on material test array here. And it looks like they may have corrected this as well. Before, um, whenever I submitted this, it would show up as like a negative space for like the minimum and I have to change the minimum. So that is now corrected here. And it was also coming in like real squished and stuff like that. So they've corrected pretty much every bug that I've submitted so far. While we're on the topic of that, uh, another thing that I couldn't do is I couldn't hold shift and select two objects at once on it. So right now it looks like they have definitely submitted and corrected that. So it looks like they are listening to my feedback and uh, submitting these um, in their software here. So I'm glad that they took the time to wait to release this. Looks like they corrected quite a bit of stuff here. So super cool. Other than that, I really haven't had too much issues with this software. Um, they seem to have corrected a lot of different things. Uh, so it looks like they also kind of changed the layout of your material here. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it looks like it'll show you what your material will look like. So let's say we want cherry in three millimeter. We're gonna select that. And then um, you can break this apart if you want to, or we can select this here. You can go to like cut, fill engrave, and then down here, just like below, uh, before, you gotta scroll down just a little bit, but at least you can see what it is there now. Um, and you can uh, select your material, like uh, test array from here. So let's say we want this one, we'll select that. Automatically changes the settings, just like before. Super good, uh, super easy layout. If they could just shrink this a little bit more so you didn't have to scroll down, um, then it'd be perfect. But 
all in all, I think that's really good. You can at least see it's there. A lot of people couldn't see it before because it was way off the page. Um, they also now collapse the layers. Uh, before we had the giant layers panel here. It would take up half of your screen. We all hated it. It's now better. You just click layers now. You can now change your path on what's going to engrave or do right from here. You can just drag and drop and resort whichever way that you want it to resort. You can collapse all these down by color and size. Um, and then you can change like the order by dragging and dropping there too. Super nice. I'm super glad that they changed that as well. Um, you also have this canvas button so you can add multiple canvases at once. And you can kind of flip through that. I think that was down here at the bottom before. Um, so I just like how they kind of collapsed everything into one thing, especially that toolbox. This toolbox is super handy, has all of your features right in there. Um, and then uh, it looks like you have your color options here. So if you want this to be a different color, you can go ahead and click black or blue. All of your color options are here instead of down on that bar below. So just keep that in mind. Um, and then you have this center button here. It looks like that'll just bring you dead center of your work space here so you can move it anywhere you want and then center it to the dead center of your workspace so if you want to know where center is on your uh, machine just click that center button super cool other than that that is pretty much everything here if you need to change like your your laser uh, layout here whether it's flat cylindrical a free plane or the auto pass through you have all of those options before. It looks like they might have even new logos that I was unaware of before. If they did have this, let me know. I usually just leave it on laser flat. That's what I do most of the time. But uh, if you guys have any questions about version 3.0.0, let me know. I am super glad to see all of the um, bugs that I've reported um, have been fixed for the most part here. The only other thing that I don't think they're going to change is the ability to add PDF files. But if they can add that ability, then this will be really nice. Um, and I can't wait for that feature to be added if possible. Other than that, if you guys have questions, let me know down in the comments below and we'll catch you guys in the next one.